Welcome back everybody, Green Assassin here, and today I am in ME Hypercube, Material Energy Hypercube. This pack is by Parcel31U. I hope I remembered your name and I'm not mispronouncing it. But anyways, um, I've done a little bit of work off camera. As you guys can see, I've got some gardens growing in the back here. I just kind of set this up to conserve space. They're each 5x5. Five five. Uh, I got wheat on the bottom, carrots on the second level, and potatoes on the top, I think. And that's just so I can uh, complete the quest, like the potatoes and the carrots. Um, the wheat is so I can have some food. Um, I'm growing trees over here. I only had two pieces of dirt left, so I'm just growing two trees for now so I can get wood. And over here, I started growing some of the ender lily seeds just to see if I can get some to grow. Sugar cane and some cactus. I don't know if I'll need any of that stuff, but I figured might as well grow it. Got it. Um, over here, I've put up some bookshelves, cleaned up my chest a bit. I have a line of chests over here, so I'm trying to keep, like, weapons there, armor there, tools and stuff like that there. This one's empty. I think the rest of them are all empty. Um, over here, I got a few chests. This one's just glass, decorative glasses. This one's, like, glowstone and the uh, lapis... Celestius, I think is how it's pronounced. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Like I said, I don't know how to pronounce that word properly. Um, but yeah, glowstone and that stuff. And then down here, just all the decorative blocks and whatnot that I don't really want to store in here because I don't want to fill up all the drives because I don't know if I'm going to be able to make any of these or not so I just figured I would do that to save space um, bookshelves all the extra questing books are there and there and then my tinkers books and the Emmy books that Parcel has written and then the special questing books from I'm pretty sure I heard these guys are the guys that made the hard quest uh, I can't talk tonight um, the hardcore questing mod. So there's that. I still got my skulls up there. Only died four times. Um, over here I have hooked up the pulverizer, the furnace, and the slag mill and the ally furnace. I was cooking up some skystone because I was using it for the trim around that thing. Uh, that stuff I've been keeping in here because I can make chests out of it and whatnot. And I got all my Tinker's tables down here. I put all my Tinker's parts in here. Um, I've made a few more tools. I made this one. And this one out of Sagnin Sagunite. Uh, I don't know, but it's really good. Um, this stuff, I went back into the inclusion chamber and started harvesting some of the Skystone down below. And I picked up, like, I don't even know, a couple stacks, and it's barely even hurt for durability. So it's got a huge durability on it, which is nice. And I'd say about 200 and at least 200 pieces of Skystone, because the other 48 is probably from picking up this stuff, which is not supposed to be in there. Same with that. Um, let, let's take a... Uh, I wanted some torch is I don't have any torches left and I only got 19 I'm a sad panda I need more torches where did all my torches go um just turn the rest of that into sticks I guess I don't got much coal um Sticks, but I don't think I really need it for anything else at the moment, so Let's just grab these and we will try and get as close to a stack as we can 
There we go, one short. I am okay with that. So, yeah, that's all of that. Um, let me put this stuff in here. And we will put this in here. And then the other thing I want is let's double compress. Do I have any other dirt? No, just double compressed. So we will grab one, two, three. That should be more than enough. Uh, that gets us like just about a stack. I'm going to use dirt for my pillaring and getting around just because I don't want to waste the decorative blocks or anything like that. Um, I took the Rain Man mini-me out and I fenced him in and I went and got a chicken. There was a chicken, wild chicken down here, a yellow one. So I grabbed him and I threw them both in a little fenced area. I figured I didn't really want the mini-me grabbing me, picking me up, or messing around with my chests or my torches. So, yeah. But if you guys take a look around, you can see I flattened this out quite a bit, trying to get some sky stone. Probably did way more than I needed to, but when I was doing it, I happened to notice that there is a chest up here. So we are going to go take a look at that right now, and then I'm going to reload the, bi the biosphere, and I'm going to show you what I've done in there. So this chest has got a lot of good stuff in it. It's got some glowstone glass, some glass, some ender-infused obsidian, some soul sand, some fertilizer, heptonized dust. Alrighty then. Well, I will take it all. Uh, oh, I did not mean to hit that button. Exit out of that. Might as well grab the chest. I've been going back and grabbing as many of these as I could. Just to get the free chest. So... Um, but anyways, on with the show. Let's go back up here. We'll load the biosphere. And, yeah, take a look around that. I've changed a few things in there. That's where I got all my fertilized soil, I think it's called, from. So I just ripped all the gardens out and whatnot. Apparently there's an enderman near me. Oh yeah, and this is, actually I want to show you guys that quickly before we load the biosphere. Um, I came down here because I wanted to see what was down here. I didn't really realize that there was this whole big room down here. But there is. And I came into here. There's a tesseract under here and there's a chicken trophy down here. So we'll grab that in a sec. But there's a tesseract right here powering this whole thing. So I figured I might as well steal some power off of it, and I ran the pipes up to the back of those batteries that are up there. And that's how I'm going to end up getting my power when I run out. So there's the chicken trophy, and then I also seen around the back side here, there is the cow trophy. So we'll grab both of them. I don't think there was anything else down here. I might put my animals and whatnot down in this area, just that way I don't gotta listen to them all the time. So yeah, we'll look over here. We got the wild chicken and Rain Man 11. I don't know who he is, I'm really sorry. Turn that on, get the feather, turn that back off. I'm I charged this with one of the capacitors. I figured it would help. I wouldn't have to run up and down to get all the blocks I dropped. Um, so we got a bunch of decorative glass we'll throw in here. Glowstone glass, glowstone edged glass. Um, that is glass. That is... oh, that's soul sand. 
We'll put that in the bottom chest, I guess. That's a Skystone chest. So we'll put that in there. Might as well throw that in there for now. And we'll put all this good stuff in here. We have buckets of fairy molten. And poke ben union. Yeah, I suck when it comes to trying to pronounce words, so you guys will just have to deal. We will put the tough tool rod in there. We take a look at the questing book. Go into here. Click here. Secrets. We got the cow trophy. Gets us a bag. And the chicken trophy gets us another reward bag. So let us open these up. What kind of bags were they? Good reward bags. Oh, three blocks of iron. Nice. And a lasso with a mini me in it. Doesn't say it's got a name tag on it, so. Is it just a plain mini me? I don't know who that is. Just says mini me, and that's not my skin, so. Anyways, on to the spatial IO area. And we will. Oh, I guess we gotta unload this. Grab this out. Put this back in here. Grab the biosphere. Put it back in there. We will hit the button. And apparently I've got really bad lag today. It's kind of been laggy for me all day. I don't know what's going on with it, but who knows? Anyways, let's pop this up here. Actually, let us put one of these away for sure. Actually, no, we'll keep it because I think I'm going to grab some stuff out of there. Don't need the blocks of iron. And I don't need the feather. Um, For now, I'm going to put these trophies in there because uh, we're going to be going over to the Victory Monument before the end of the episode anyways. And I'm hoping to be able to move on to the next spatial IO. So I changed this. I don't have it, so I'm going down here anymore. Um, as you guys can see, I cleared everything out of here. I was hoping to get some more stuff to spawn. Looks like I lost my sheep that was in here, though. You can hear him. Uh, he must have went down here. But I installed some ladders, which lead down to here, which is the main room. I cleared out that whole corner of that med metal urgy, I think it's pronounced, stuff. Which is kind of a waste, you can't make much with it, but it does get you fertilizer, so that was a plus. And then I came down here. I hope there's no mobs down here. It looks like there is. Let's get our sword, it's almost broken. Oh, there's a witch out there. So, <clears throat> there's quartz down here, and then this is all the liquid, uh, or the gelid cryotheum. I think that's how it's pronounced, but that's all down there, so I will find a way of getting that later. I'm not too worried about that. It is a quest, but we need like 200 of them or something like that. So that is probably something I'll do off camera. I'll just cut a hole like right above one of these, drop down, and then I'll just pull her back out. Um, the jellied cryotheum, I gotta wait until I get buckets to be able to get that anyways. 
I think if we take a look at the quest, we need 200 Certus Quartz Crystals and 20 buckets of uh, Jellied Cryotheum. So, yeah, I'm going to be waiting a while for that, I think. Well, we'll see. But anyways, in here is the wool that we need. So let's grab this coral wool, the orange wool. And, uh, let's see, torch up there. We will come back up here. I didn't really find anything else, like any other secret chests or anything hidden around in this area, so I'm not too, too... Oh, actually, I did find one. Sorry, that's a lie. We will come get... Actually, we'll get grab sea biscuit right now. Come here, sea biscuit. And we come over here. Let's just put that up there. I did find one chest. You can kind of see it right there. Oh, there's a creeper up there. Are you kidding me? This is going to be interesting. I'm probably going to get blown up. Let's see if we can get this without dying. Oh, he fell down. But I don't think he can get up here to get me, so... Let us take a look and see what we get. Got three reward bags, a good bag, good bag, good bag, and some bronze helmet, bronze chest plate, bronze boots, and bronze leggings. I will take it. Which one's better? This one's 281, 208, but this one's got fire protection. Let's take the monocle off. We don't actually need to wear the monocle. And this has got speed 5, so that might be nice. Grab the chest while we're here. Oh, this is going to be a long episode, I think. Um, get the shovel back on the hotbar. So to use this magnet, you just select it and right-click. I hold shift when I do it. I don't know if you need to or not. There we go. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Woo. Well, that takes care of that. Ooh. Doesn't seem like I'm any faster with that speed, but who knows. So, Seabiscuit... I'll let you roam free around here for now. Um, we'll take a look in here. Whoa, we opened up a bunch more stuff. <coughs> so it looks like we're going to be able to get into the chem lab stuff now. With a decomposer, it can break down almost anything, any item or block in uh, to turn it in to its elements and compounds okay so we got another leadstone energy cell and a reward bag for that but we've just completed this one and that gets us miners delight an ore finder an iron pick and a red heart canister somewhere in the biosphere is an orange wool there doesn't seem to be much on the first floor so i should dig down and see what i can find and we found it renewable cobble with any spiders find a way to produce raw materials some metal some grout lavender wool somewhere in the depths of the minor delight is the third space time wool Cool. Oh, I forgot to claim that reward. So let's claim this. <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. Um, let us go here. 
and we will hit the button, grab this out, and throw that in there, grab that, hit the button, stand back on this thing, where is this chem lab, I want to go here, I didn't bring the chickens and the cow with me, but that is okay. Drop the coral wool, and we are one more closer to being done. Um, I put a set of wood armor on one of these stands. I just figured I might as well. Had a bunch of spare anyways, so... Kind of fill up the armor stands. I'm guessing that's what they're there for. Reactor, spatial I.O. They, oh, observatory. So let's open these up and see what we got. Redstone alloy block. Cooking pan of warrior felt. Hold shift. Writable knockback. Okay, so it's a tinker's construct pan. Cool. Click. And last one. Sand. Okay. We get sand. We'll take a look at that one in a future episode. For now, I want to take a look at this Miner's Delight. And I'm probably call it a wrap on this episode because it is getting pretty long now. Um, let's put our canister on. Get us another heart. Oh, I hear zombies. That's not good. We'll put that in there. But actually, let's keep that on us, because that might be a good weapon. It's got knock knockback on it. Only does three hearts of damage, but... What does this do? This does six. Let's put that on the hot fire too. And we will throw this stuff in here. Um, this can go in there. I don't need to take a wrench with me. We will take the spare iron pick just in case. And I've got to change my sort key button because that just totally messed my whole inventory. Oh, what's going on? I thought I loaded that. Oh, I did. Cool. There's a lot of ore in there, but there is also a lot of bad guys in there. Trippy. Sounded like somebody was following me. Must have been the horse. Put that in there. And that can go in there. I don't know where that those two blocks from, but those can go in there. And this can go in here now. So yeah, really looks like I got my work cut out for me in this one. I think I'm going to have to do some suicide running around and torching the place up so we can... Reduce spawning rates. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to kill them all from here and not have more respawn within that time. There's a way of getting them to despawn. Hey! It's not working out so good for me. Crap, I told you I'm not good at this stuff. Let's use our knockback. 
frying pan. I can't even hit these guys. Oh, I killed one. Get out of here, sea biscuit. I'm gonna get hurt. Okay, well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it a wrap on this episode and clear a bunch of this out. Oh, and I died. I should have been paying attention to my health. Uh, where do I got to go? Down, down, down. Let us see where is everything. This reactor observatory. Okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna call it a wrap on this episode. I'm not even gonna be able to get my stuff now. Nope. Um, what I'll probably do is just cut a hole right here. That works. stuff the lost skeleton I want my work finder back um <clears throat> yeah so I'll light up the top of this and then I will probably come back with you guys and we will go explore it a little bit um I hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did leave me a like helps me out a lot um just takes a second to hit that like button um subscribe if you guys want it's free let you know when i got new videos up and yeah i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day i will see you guys in the next video